Alright, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our survival playthrough of uh, Minecraft Cliffs and Caves. We are currently placing torches, right, so I've placed that quarter basically uh, last week. We want to do like that quarter, that quarter and down there. I've cheated a little bit during the week. I um, made a copy of the file and went, went scouting. I took a look around took a look around the surrounding area. That is actually a bit of an island. There are rivers surrounding it. I might like build stuff there later on on the island. Um, there are no really interesting biomes anywhere nearby. Like there's mountains over there, there's kind of a mountain, not sure what's over there. Over that way there's an ocean, uh, but like no jungles. No deserts, no mesas that, that I found. I mean, I didn't travel very far. And also underneath here, down near the bedrock, is a massive cave. So uh, that's that. Nothing, like, nothing that really changes the game or anything. I just like took a quick look around so I can see what to expect later on. Alright, so where am I... what am I doing here? What is the pattern here? 12, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, so from here... We continue, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I... Might as well, like... Do that up to the water there. Uh, I'm counting in my head. One, two, three, four, five, six. What happened there? Um, I don't think I need to torch further that way. Just wondering if I should put an extra line. So I'm planning to build the Iron Golem farm, probably like here, here. Uh, flatten this down to water level probably. Not sure if it needs to be all the way down to water level, but flatten it down to um, maybe at least to here and then building the Iron Golem farm above. So I need how big is the iron golem farm? I need the uh, the torches to secure the iron golem farm. You know what? I'm going to add an extra extra line that way, just to give myself twelve more blocks, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just like torch all the way to the water actually. I might do that later on, not anytime soon. Well, now we just want to secure the base. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's only 11. Right, that's twelve. 
And that's all good. All right, carrying on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually, I should probably double check with this. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I just realized this is sheep. Sheep are eating the grass. I don't think I need that actually. So there's nothing there's nothing that interesting under the water in the rivers, I don't think. I do need a magma block for the iron golem farm. Not to kill the iron golems, but to like to kill the cats that spawn in the iron golem farm. And usually there are magma blocks in undersea str oh it's nighttime. In undersea structures. But this is technically a river, I think, although it's kind of big. There are undersea structures further that way, but it's so far away that it's almost easier just to go to the nether. I scouted the nether briefly too. Uh, the nether portal generates in a cave, which is great, which means we don't have to build protection against gas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, good. Um. Here, right? Oops. And there... I personally find that keeping things in the grid is easier. I mean, you have to do a lot of counting as you do it, as you put the torches down. But later on it's easier to manage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you're usually more efficient too, like you use fewer torches over time. I don't actually think I need this. Like if anyone's thinking the the strict grid is a little bit like overly systematic and organized and pedantic. One, two, three, four, five. We don't need anything else there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't need that. Not sure about that middle bit there. Anyway, no harm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great. I'm gonna flatten this bit anyway, so I'm gonna have to move these later on. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, that's there. Right. That's all good, that's all good.
that is there. There, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, cool. And then next one. Right. There. And there. And there. Um, what happens here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me like do that. Let me just check underwater again. Pretty sure there's nothing, nothing interesting there. No. Maybe I go scouting a little bit later on. If I don't need to go to the Nether for. Magma blocks. That's even better. <laughs> Wonder if I need something up here. You put that there, so the melons only, I mean, the pumpkins only spawn there, and we keep those lit up as well. Uh, hey, you. Hey, get bopped. Look at that. Punched you in the face. How do you, how does it feel? How's that feel? How's that feel? Do baby zombies drop loot? Oh, they do. Because maybe animals don't, right? But I guess baby animals don't drop loot because you can breed them. If they drop loot, it'll be really easy to get a lot of loot. Just kill them immediately after you breed. Uh, that's 12. Don't think I need anything there. I'm gonna flatten a bit of this too later on, I think. Is that right? It's there. Right? Right. Alright, so now that, that half of there is done. Let me quickly check my crops. Harvest a little bit. Maybe I should finally make the map. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, it's, it should be good enough. Hmm, bit of up and down here. I want to flatten that out, probably. Uh, put those away. Compass. Should I save? Make sure I don't mess this up. It's, it's not that important. All right, paper. Empty map. 
I can just straight up make an empty locator map. Cool. Empty locator map. Wait, you only need eight paper to make the locator map, but you need nine paper to make a normal map. Oh, it's just save the paper. Cool. Um, I wanna see. It'll be annoying if we are like in the middle of or like on the on the chunk boundary or something, and this ends up not being ascended. Yeah, we are on a chunk boundary. <laughs> Alright, so we are right there. So we're not going to record anything in that direction. We don't even record the... Oh, well, we do record the tree farm. Oh, wait a minute. This is that way. We are not going to record that stuff there. Alright, well, that's super annoying. What I want to do is to expand this map then. Because I want to look that way. I don't want to look this way. So we want to expand this out, and then we're going to end up having um, that's annoying. <laughs> All right, how do we how do we expand the map? It's not in the recipes, is it? I have to put to add. I let. I need to put like eight more paper. Is that right? To expand it. All right. Well, there you go. There's our map for now. <laughs> uh yeah. It's a little bit awkward the way that's located. Tree farm that way. <laughs> we missed most of the stuff. Although I'm not sure if it would be any better if I started the map there. Because then we would miss the tree farm. And the actual bed. Anyway, now that we have this, we are no longer worried about getting lost. Because we can always use the map to get back to our bed. So now we can like go exploring over long distances. Safely. More or less. Not, not safely, but... Not worried about getting lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's ten. Don't think I need a torch in the middle there, not sure. We definitely need a torch in the middle here, because all this up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably want a torch. One, two, three, four, five there as well. Getting to the hilly bits. I don't actually think we need a torch here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And probably not there either. Because this, like that one, is kind of vertically, it's in the middle, right? Alright, we've got a hill, some mountains, not really mountains, we've got a hill here. That's gonna make things a little bit more complicated. Probably don't need a torch in the middle there. Uh, We probably do need one here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. So here with this like fairly steep slope, almost 45 degrees, in fact it is 45 degrees, we will want to have torches in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's this craziness. 